Hey guys, it is me, Hypersarek, and welcome back to Scum Survival. So in the previous episode, we have finally gotten our weapon. We have finally gotten this UMP. We can spray whatever zombie we want. We have a full auto weapon. So without any further ado, let's go and let's clear the city. For those curious, I am currently located in this D1 square. We are somewhere over here. Let's start exploring the city. I have no idea how many zombies are there, but I do have a silencer. So I don't think we should aggro a bunch of the zombies here. Or maybe, you know what? For the memes, for the lols. I think zombies are going to come here anyways. I wanted to unplug like my magazine the silencer i mean dude why am i missing why am i missing that makes no sense Die, smack! i have no idea how many bullets i got i have no idea what's going on but i am going uh, further in the city here go they're coming in here go spray them spray them it's so weird where it sounds like you're shooting two bullets but in real you're shooting only one bullet look at this i'm gonna shoot and it was only one bullet because check this out we had 18 bullets and now we are at 17 bullets so it sounds like it sounds like we're shooting two bullets, but it's only one bullet. What if I'm gonna climb through the window? There's gotta be a zombie here. Go and schmuck die. I do know that I said we'll be spraying these zombies, and I'll be spraying them when there's a need. And right now, there is no need for that. Okay, but there's a zombie. Go spray this dude. And it took only two bullets to kill it. We had 17, 16, so I'm pretty sure now we had like 14 bullets. Check this out. I had 14. No, we had 13 bullets after all. I'm gonna stop counting them. Another massive backpack! This is pretty cool. I might even drop that in the car. I think we might drop that in the car. You know what? Just for the memes and giggles. Let's go. Let's actually get rid of this improvised silencer. I'm gonna put it here in the backpack. You know what? Let's wake up all the zombies. Let's go. Ooh. Sounds nice. Hello? Anybody home? I mean, I've shot a bullet, but not a single zombie came out. Why? Nobody, so I can't already hear a zombie here. You go done. So maybe did the, like that double shot because of the silencer, perhaps. And check this out. I just saw someone outside here. What are you doing, schmuck? Why did I spray it? You might ask me. Because why not? I got the bullets. I want to use them. I didn't come here for no reason. Let me use the bullets. We got a bushman. Don't really need that. We got a brick. Oh, actually, I've even been here. That's it. We have looted this entire city. And here go. There's the backpack. So I'm going to take the backpack in my hands. Where is it? Check, check this out. Let's take the backpack in the hands and let's bring that to the car. We legitimately need more boxes, but I... Let's try to perhaps get this hiking backpack. Is it full or empty? It's empty. So I can drop this hiking backpack and this hiking backpack. And here we go. There's the hiking backpack inception. And let's get this other backpack. Let's now hop in the car. And somehow, some way, let's try to get to that airdrop. It is in the forest. I mean, whatever. So this city was way emptier than I thought. There was almost no one here. Alright, so it is like some sort of a forest, but we could drive here and we will drive then. Let's go. As I said, this episode was supposed to be me checking out the UMP. And then we're gonna start working on the base. But hey, let's park the car. Let's leave it. And let's up inside of the airdrop. Alrighty, where's the entrance? Not here. Alrighty, the entrance is somewhere over here. Let's up inside. We still have like 18 minutes. Just as always, when I loot it, I love to close the airdrop. Because what if someone's gonna come? AKA a beeping zombie, even though maybe that's not even possible. But I don't want to take any risks. So here we go. I've just crafted six lockpicks. And let's start lockpicking the locks. Here we go. We were able to lockpick the first lock. And inside of the first lock, we got night vision goggles. Already have them. And I already have a spare night vision goggles in the car. But I might as well get more. More garbage, the better. Let's go. As they say, it's never enough loot. Plus, we're gonna craft a base so we'll be able to store everything we want. We got another Desert Eagle. I already have a Desert Eagle. Fully kitted out Desert Eagle. Same with that Desert Eagle flashlight. I'll just take another flashlight and that's it. Uh, I took the bullets. I don't need these magazines. And Desert Eagle Red Dot, I already have enough of them. So I'm not taking that. All right, here we got a rebar cutter. All right, we were able to lockpick the fourth lock. Here we got some enforced locks. Don't need that. You know what? Just so that you don't scream at me, we are gonna take that Desert Eagle. Here go. Fits in my tactical pants. I'll probably kit it out. Let's go. Let's take it in my hands. Let's drop this. And I could even add an empty magazine to it, right? Because we have some magazines here. So let's add an empty magazine to this Desert Eagle. And I'll put that into my pants. Here we go. We'll be able to store that in the car, and then I'll be able to keep that in the base. We'll start getting a gun collection. Let's go. So here we're able to lock pick the fifth lock. Inside of the fifth lock, we are going to get some ghillie suit paint. Don't need them. And just like that, we were able to lock pick the last lock. And here we just got a grenade. Let's get it. I am going to use those grenades one day, perhaps, on something. And as I said, let's go to the car now. Let's take out that box from the car. We're gonna craft another box here one day, but not today. I think maybe we're gonna start crafting these boxes once I start settling in. Wait, almost forgot to drop that box back in the car. Here go, let's drop it back in the car. And as I said, we're gonna maybe live somewhere I don't even know, close to this lake. Maybe close to the C3 square somewhere. I don't know, I need an entrance to the river so that we'd be able to explore the river 
on a boat. Alvaris, right, so we've explored this city, Sayonara. Wait, I'd love to see how it was called. Prigoria. Prigoria Sayonara. Now, somehow, some way. Ah! My car is gonna explode. Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. We gotta stop it here right now. It can explode any moment. Not really. I still could probably hit a couple of rocks here and there, but you know what? I'm not taking the risk. I'm pretty sure I have a car repair kit. So let's try to repair the car with this car repair kit. Not really sure if it's gonna repair it fully because this car repair kit only... Yeah, that's it. It broke. Is my car better now? Is it repaired fully? Yes, it says that it's at 100%. And yeah, right now we are gonna go, as I said, to this D0 square. I've never been in that square yet. And so far, it looks really empty. I'm pretty sure maybe in the future developers are gonna add more buildings to it because... I'm pretty sure even when that D0 square came out, there were no buildings here or here. There's a bunker up the top, so maybe we're gonna go to that bunker later on. Oh, and also, there was some sort of a new update. Wait, let's check it out. There is admin settings and regions. So we could click on the save zone and uh, yeah, you could do whatever you want, kinda. You could remove damage to vehicles. Yeah, 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 and save changes. I don't wanna touch anything there. But hey, they've added now a new update. It's much easier to configure the server now if you wanna set some sort of save zones. If you wanna play with some other settings to remove damage from puppets, etc., etc. So now you can do all of that without going into the server config file or whatever. So a pretty neat update if you ask me, but I check this out. There is the thing, so I'm pretty sure this would be filled with mech robots, but you already know we don't have mech robots here. I still haven't enabled them, and I still don't really know what you guys think about those mech robots as the previous video that I posted there. It's not posted yet, so I don't know your reaction to it, but so far I'm still playing without those mech robots. Oh, buddy, I'm gonna park the car somewhere over here. I'm not sure what this place is, but... I'm kind of excited to go and loot it. I've never been here. This is a completely brand new city. I mean, it's not really completely, completely new. It's new for like a few months now, for a few weeks. I don't know, I don't know. And yeah, I'm not using a silencer to make things harder. Maybe I'll start using silencer a bit later on, but for now, I don't need a silencer. Alrighty, here I'd like to get, I don't even know what. I'm gonna start cooking meat, so I don't really need meat. We got some lime juice. Let's pop those lime juice. My dude is hungry again. You gotta be kidding me. I have here like this tuna salad MRE, so I could just pop it. When I go to metabolism, my protein is in the highest. Oh, buddy, I can hear a zombie up the top. Let's take out the weapon. Nobody's here. But okay, let's go to the top. Oh, that was kind of sick. That was kind of sick again. That shot might have maybe attracted more zombies, and that's what I want to do. I want to attract more, 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 and more zombies. Let's go. This is going to be the last ceiling that I ever loot. That I ever loot. The last roof. It's always pointless to go here. There's never nothing here. It's always empty. And check this out. All I got is just one nail here. That's it. That's all I've gotten up the top here. One nail and one rag. I mean, I got the rag, but did I really need it? Not really. We already have a bunch of rags. So that's it. This was the last attic that I loot. I don't need more attics. That's it. Sayonara attics. But hey, I want to check out this place. I want to know what kind of loot we can get here. Because I do know what can we get inside of bunkers. I do know what can we get inside of police departments. I do know what we kind of get in the warehouses, but... I've never been in this place. Oh, buddy, so we got some 22 cal ammo. Don't really need that yet. First of all, I don't even have that gun. I don't even have the .22 rifle. Oh, there's the guy laughing. That means there's something bad here. And my dude is heavy, so what if I get rid of something? I have, like, this cotton hoodie. And what if I drop that cotton hoodie in the car? Hopefully, I don't boil or something. Let's drop the cotton hoodie in the car. Here go. That's a bit better. If we go to metabolism, to my health, and check this out, I'm no longer slightly warm. Just gotta be careful, because that beeping zombie can end our career here. Can end my scum survivalist career. Let's open up the door. This is like some sort of a warehouse. What if I deal with this zombie over there? You could dealt with it. Let's close the door. Obviously, there were some zombies probably inside here. This one of them is coming. Danzo. Anybody else here? Uh, doesn't really look like we got a weapon cleaning kit. Gotta get it. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna clean the weapon here, right? There's a weapon. There's a zombie outside. There's a zombie outside. Please tell me it's not gonna explode. All the, all the zombies. Psych, open the door, please. No. Don't be stupid. Can't open up the door right now. If I open it up, that's it. I'll explode. And the last thing I want to do is explode. Lord, right now, I, I don't like when that dude becomes, uh, starts beeping faster. Uh, fish hook back, I don't need it, we don't fish here. I'm trying to be careful, maybe there's a zombie up the top. That's why I still keep looking around me. We got a car battery, definitely need that, let's put that in the pants. The car battery wasn't even that heavy, it's like, what? it was like, what? Where's the car battery? It's 700 grams, kind of weird. Stupid zombie, stop beeping. M1 rifle bullets, don't need that. We got some cheese. Oof, here go. Finally, the Zamzam exploded. How are you still alive here? Oh, 
How did this guy get here? How? Is that even legal? You know what? Let's try to treat my wounds here right now. Even though you don't need to treat like these C1 wounds, but I, I'm still gonna treat myself because why not? There's a zombie up the top. Look at this. It started running. It started running. So zombies here. How they didn't hear me? That's weird. I didn't use silencer because of that. Dunzo. Dunzo, 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 Dunzo. Nothing here. It's still so weird, peeps, to spray the bullets. I knew... Here, go. Let's pray for these guys then. Go, they destroyed. We don't even get to spray that much. Here, go. We got some generators here. Don't need them. And I feel like we could go to the top. Let's go. How many bullets do I have? Like about 15, I would say. Nine. Nine bullets. Not too many bullets, but it's something. Anything up the top. I'm pretty sure we've looted a similar place to this one. Another rag. Don't need it. Some metal. I just want to know what do we get inside of these buildings, you know? So that next time when I come here, I know what to expect. There are zombies outside. I love that. I think there's only one zombie, though. There's only one stupid measles zombie. And I'd love to shoot it from the top, but I want to go down there and use the UMP. I want to use the UMP, you know what, until the novelty wears off. As it took me a few episodes to get it, so right now, to not use the UMP would be a sin. Oh, what here go? There are the zombies coming in. All right, there's three of them. Come to Papa! Are they gonna come here? They're not coming for some reason. Oh, are they gonna start running towards me? They're just staying there. There's four of them. There are four zombies. Even more than four, maybe five even. Okay, go destroyed. You know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna reload the magazine. Let's check out how many bullets I got. Probably my character is hungry. Hungry. Here go. I'm pretty sure we had the entire magazine right now. Let's go. Let's start spraying and praying. I'd be like, psychic crazy, you stupid. Yes, I am. Let's go down there. That's what I wanted! That's what I wanted! I just need more zombies, though. Because that was nothing. How many bullets did we use, though? We are at 10 bullets. Wait, let's get back up. Let's close the door real quick. Let's reload all these magazines, dude. It's gonna take forever. But that was kind of worth it. I just need to find more zombies like this. And I'm pretty sure there has to be one extra magazine somewhere. Here go. All of these magazines gotta be filled up. So let's fill them up real quick. And let's go quickly to metabolism and stomach empty. So yeah, we gotta eat. Also, I have to remember, if there was a beeping zombie, it would be nice if we could, like, open up doors. It would be nice if we could interact with doors while we are reloading. Alright, so that's it. I reloaded one of those. Let's put back the magazine. Wait, and I made a mistake. I dropped all of these magazines here. What an idiot. I almost lost my UMP magazines. That would have been very sad. Let's go. Let's start reloading another magazine. I'm probably gonna climb to the tippity top. But I am gonna reload one extra clip. Here, go load it in one extra magazine. Let's go to the tippity top. Can I open this? And what do we get on top of this place? Hello? I have never been here. I have never looted a place like this. But I legitimately don't see anything. Maybe it's just a nice place to, you know, to snipe whatever people. If you're playing multiplayer. But other than that, there is no loot. Nobody gotta be careful. Gotta climb down. No, no, no. Don't close it. Alrighty, so we are gonna climb the ladder. And there's one more magazine left to reload. Where is it? Here, go. there's the magazine. Let's reload it. And I think right now we're gonna start cooking the meat. So let's go outside. Probably we're gonna start like some sort of a fire. But hey, before this, let's loot the rest of the buildings. After we loot them, we can start feeding ourselves. Let's now reload the magazine. Here you go. Plip, plop. Let's open up the door. And if there were any beeping zombies, I'm pretty sure all of them are gone by now. So we looted one of those bigger warehouses. I don't even know what that could be. Another airdrop in D0 Square. We might go there. Can't promise that. Everything is possible. Kinda. I don't know. What is this place? What are these warehouses? Do we get any military loot? Perhaps. I'm, I'm not surprised. There would be mech robots here. And there's no way I'd be able to explore any of that. So maybe that's why there was that beeping zombie. That's why. Because it was protecting this kind of military loot. There's not a lot of it. But there are a couple of crates here and there. You know what? I really wanted to cook the meat. But before that, I feel like we could just pop that MRE. Let's go. Let's try to eat the MRE. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna put back the gun. And let's eat the MRE. Let's go. How many calories we're gonna get from that? And gotta... Pay attention to my stomach volume. Also, we're kind of running low on water. So after this tuna salad, we are going to pop some water. I do know we're not getting a bunch of protein. I mean, we still get some protein. We get a little bit of fat here. I don't have any D vitamins. I don't have any E vitamins and C vitamins. Okay. But I have like some vitamin pills. I'm pretty certain about that. My bulletproof vest is breaking. Kind of have to repair it. I'm going to start drinking some carrot juice while I'm searching for those vitamin pills. Here we go. We found some vitamin pills. And let's let's go. Let's eat one vitamin pill. Is that enough? I ate some vitamins. I also get some energy from those vitamins. I mean, we might pop another vitamin. And one more vitamin. This tastes funny. So maybe we shouldn't have eaten that many vitamins. Whatever. I'm not going to eat any more vitamins. That's enough. That's enough. I'll become Thanos here. You know, you eat like a few bare vitamins and boom, you become super strong. Let's get the rope. Rope is super useful. Let's get it. 
two kilo rope. Like, this rope is heavier than the car battery. How is that possible? I don't have a slightest clue. Let's get the rope in the backpack. Bam. That's a big rope. I'm pretty sure that rope is going to be useful for the for the base that we are going to build one day. Anything else in these crates? Tactical gloves. Kind of cool. Don't need them, though. Anything here? 9 millimeter bullets. Let's pick it up. We already have a bunch of 9 mil bullets in the car, so we can just stack them. I won't be taking any other bullets, though. I already took crates over here. We got shotgun shells. And here we found the Desert Eagle ammo. Might as well take it. Maybe, you know what, one day I'll feel like using that Desert Eagle, so we'll start using that. But again, I've spent so much time searching for the UMP. I don't see myself using that Desert Eagle ever again. Never. All right, we got an MK500. Don't need that. Oh, buddy, what do we get here? Of the... The... Another zombie. Anybody home? Hello. All right, this is a weird place. This is something interesting. Is it again the same, like some sort of a warehouse or whatever? I have no idea, but I am curious. Let's up inside. Let's up inside. Can we find cars? Can we find anything here? Oh, buddy, this is awkwardly empty. Nothing here at all. Oh, buddy, so these crates are not military crates. We can get some threads. Uh, I kind of need that. Wait, we have a sewing kit. Then why can't I repair my... Bulletproof vest. Probably we need to get something else to repair that bulletproof vest. I don't even have a slightest clue. What would we need? So I'm not taking those sewing threads because I have the entire sewing kit. So why would I need that? Oh, buddy, here at least we got some military loot. Wait, in the beginning I thought that it's garbage, but hey, we got some military loot. Uh, some armor piercing 9 mil bullets. They're cool, but they take space here, so I'm not taking them. Actually, we have them in the car, so I might as well just take them. An AK 47 magazine. I left it here because I have like three or four AK-47 magazines in the car. We got here a bulletproof vest. It's at 92%. It's better than current bulletproof vest that I have. So I might as well just drop everything here on the ground from the bulletproof vest. Check this out, peeps. I dropped everything. We're gonna drop this bulletproof vest. I'll take a new bulletproof vest. And I'll drag back all of those items in the bulletproof vest. Some people are asking me why I just don't double click. So I try to kind of at least sort out my inventory. Just at least a little bit. Just at least a tiny little bit. So that's why I usually drag stuff and don't double click. Desert Eagle Red Dot. Don't need that. More ammo for Desert Eagle. Let's get it. The game is trying to tell me something. The psych used Desert Eagle. That's what it's probably telling me. So I haven't found really anything useful there. There's only a couple of crates here. Wait, what is this magazine? MP5 magazine. We already have like six or something MP5 magazines in the car, so I'm not taking that. And also, somebody left a really nice comment that long ago, I could find MP5s, but I couldn't find any magazines. And this time, we have find a bunch of magazines, but no MP5s. Oh, buddy, more military loot here, but no zombies. But hey, as I said, this place should have been guarded with mech robots. And hey, as of right now, we don't even get really any insane military loot here. Scout knife like this AK-15 magazine. Don't need it. Again, we have them in the car. Some boonie hats. If I find an MP5 here, I already have a spot here. Because check this out. On the first slot here, I'm using the UMP. And the second slot would be my MP5. If we ever get it. If. If. That's a big if. Here go. We find some binoculars. Don't need them as I already have them in the car. Somebody made fun of me because I called them binoculars. And I didn't really know the chaff to say binoculars, not binoculars. How would I know that? We got a silencer. M82 sniper rifle suppressor. Is it big? Does it take lots of space? I don't have any space for it anyways. Yikes. So I'm not taking it. I'm sorry about it. Look at the suppressor. It's massive. Look at how huge it is. Nobody saluted all of those crates. I mean, I could hop inside and maybe loot something else. Have I been here? No, I haven't. Once again, this is like some sort of low-key military loot. We got more 9 mil bullets that I can combine. And check this out. Here we got a combat helmet. I want to see how we're going to look with this helmet. Does it look different? Uh, it looks cool, but I don't need it. Thank you. I have my better helmet. Here we go. It looks cool. Let's go. It fits my jacket here, kind of. Oh, buddy. A few more military crates. Another tuna salad MRE. I've just eaten one, so not going to be taking that one. Plus, it had like, what, 70% something durability. I can check the taste and it's slightly off. So yeah, I'm not eating that. Here go more 9 mil bullets. I'm going to just take a stack of those 9 mil bullets. I think that's going to be enough. There's more stuff here. It's kind of awkward that these places don't have any zombies. I would expect these places to be swarming with them. Oh, we got a light here. ASVAL flashlight. I have ASVAL. So might as well just take that flashlight here. It fits in my pants. Uh, 0.50 bullets. Don't need those. Anything here? All right, that's probably where we came from. And check this out. There's the pile of goop. That's it. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, no. We haven't looted all of them. So we can loot all of these things one by one. We got another grenade. Let's get it. Do I throw that grenade here right now? You might be like, Sorry, you're stupid. You rock zero IQ, you might tell me. And uh, I do agree with you. But at the same time, don't lie to me. I know you want me to throw that grenade. 
I know you want me to throw it here. Got more magazines. Bunch of military crates. Like, seriously, insane amount of military crates, but almost nothing useful that I can take with me. More wire cutters. I already have some wire cutters. Do I take more? I mean, let's pop this. Orange juice. Wait, it's not orange juice. It's carrot juice. In it, mate. No, it's just soft drink. What is this? Carrot juice. So, yeah, carrot juice is considered as soft drink. So, if we got the carrot juice, I'm gonna take the wire cutters with me. Let's go. Let's take the wire cutters. Well, and that's pretty much it. I don't see anything else in this building. There's so much military loot, but it's all empty. But, hey, I'm gonna throw that grenade now. As I said, I promised you peeps, and we are gonna throw it. Let's get it. Alrighty, I wanna see how it's gonna explode. Bye, um... Kinda cool. I kinda like it. See, so, yeah, I'm pretty certain we have looted this entire place here. Oh, buddy, so I might have not looted this stuff in front of me. So let's check it out. And then there's only one more place that we need to loot here on the top of this D0 square. There's the bunker. So probably we'll go to that bunker and then that's it. We can say sayonara to this D0 square. We've looted all the possible buildings then. Oh, buddy, so somewhere over here, I'm gonna take a quick breather. And while I'm lying, can I check how many bullets we got? Yeah, we can even check how many bullets I got here. 30 out of 30. Have no idea how though, but 30 out of 30, baby. Oh, buddy, so let's go here as apparently I haven't looted that place yet. No? No, I'm going the wrong direction. So I came from here. That's where I killed those zombies, probably. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, check this out. There's the thing that I haven't explored. Check this out. There's the stuff. There are the goodies. No military vehicles. Kind of weird that no military vehicles here. Also very awkward without the mech robots. Not gonna lie. Super empty. Kind of sad. Any zombies here? Wait, I'll, what if I... Hello? Doesn't really look like anybody's here. Oh, buddy, some flares. So more 9 mil bullets, but I think I'll stop picking them up because, again, we have so many of those 9 mil bullets. And if ever needed, we can just craft many more 9 mil bullets. Wait, what are those bullets here? Car 98, don't need that. Alrighty, so this is just a garage, basically. Somehow, somewhere, a garage. A shower? Wait, is that even a garage? Yeah, that's gotta be a garage. I mean, I wouldn't say no to getting more car batteries. Desert Eagle magazine already have, like, a bunch of them in the car. Couldn't even count. XPS hollow sight. Don't need that. Ooh, three extra military crates. More 9 mil bullets. M1911 magazine and brass knuckles. And check this out. We found two of those lockers that we can even lockpick. Let's go. So let's craft two lockpicks. Let's lockpick those bad boys. And I really wanted to go to this airdrop, but it's gonna explode any minute. There's no way I'd risk now coming there with the car. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess up this game right now. So we're not gonna do that. I'm not gonna go to that airdrop. So, we got a key card for the B4 bunker. Where's the B4? B4 is over there. Wow! I'm gonna take it for the memes, but there's no way I'll be able to teleport, like, literally to another side of the map to the B4 bunker. Yikes. Why are you so far away? Plus, we got the M1 rifle bullets. Don't need them, but thank you. Okay, go. We're able to lock pick one extra lock. And here we got shotgun shells. Sayonara. Oh, right, this is like a meeting room. Nothing here. And check this out. More military crates. Imagine from so many military crates, we get almost no good weapons. That's why they added those skill boxes. Yes, we got another UMP magazine! At least that's worth it, you know? We'll have now four UMP magazines, so when I load up all of those four UMP magazines, technically we're gonna have 120 bullets. And one more UMP magazine! That's sick! Two UMP magazines, so that's 150 bullets! I can just load up all of those magazines and just run with them. Uh, that's cool. Kinda. Another one of those garages. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Let's loot it, I guess. Oh, another UMP! Dude, we can have double UMP action going on. It would be nice if we could take both of those UMPs in our hands, but hey, sadly, that's impossible. But hey, we got double UMP now. That's sick. You might be like, Cyrek, you're crazy. And I am a little bit crazy. All right, we got some AK bullets. Might as well take them. I'm gonna get rid of the rags here, right? We have a bunch of rags. Let's get rid of the rags. Let's take the bullets. So you know what? It wasn't worth it to loot this. Wait, why am I reloading? I didn't mean to reload. You dumb dumb. Why did you throw this magazine on the floor? How many bullets do I have here? 31 out of 30. I'll probably need to assign those magazines to the quick slots. Like to the 9th, 8th, 7th, and 6th slot. And maybe then we'll be able to reload those magazines quicker, easier, faster. And they'll always have their spot in the backpack. Would be nice, you know what, to keep all of those backpack, uh, all of those magazines, let's say, in... Like some sort of military quiver. 
I could keep all those magazines there, but my guy will never put them automatically there. So that every time I want to reload, my character would put magazines, as I said, in the military quiver, not in his backpack. Oh, check this out. Two more of those crate thingies. Let's loot them. These are not crates. I have no idea what they are. But you know what? Hey, today just got a bit better. We got because we got another UMP. Kind of don't need it though, but you know what that means? That means if I die, I'm not gonna lose the UMP. We'll still have it, so I'll be able to put it in the base. So that's very, very worth it. It's kind of also nice, you know, to have another UMP. Is it really going to be faster to reload the magazine or to just or just to swap the weapons? I have no idea. Check this out. We have, let's say, this gun and I swap to another weapon. Yeah, probably it's faster to just swap to the weapon. So if I was kind of stupid, I could have both weapons ready. But I don't think it's smart. I think we should be keeping one gun in the car just in case if something happens. We got another M16A4. I already have one in the car. But hey, I'm gonna take that M16 in my hands. Let's go. Let's take it in my hands and maybe, maybe, maybe I'll be able to bring it to the car. Alrighty, I'm almost full on everything. So I'm gonna start getting rid of things that I completely don't need, such as the bread. I mean, we're gonna eat it a little bit. Let's go. Let's try to eat all the bread because we kind of need more food. Maybe we're not gonna eat the full bread. Let's go. I'm gonna eat like only 25% of that bread. That's it. The rest, we don't care about it. Okay, I'm gonna take back this M16 in the hands, even though I don't see how it's gonna be useful for us. Oh, and that's it. I'm pretty certain we have looted this entire place now. Oh, besides here, we haven't looted this thing. So it's basically like a mirrored version of the other place that we've looted there. I mean, I might as well just quickly loot these boxes. What if I get something useful? As I said, sometimes you do get weapons in these crates. And I have gotten a UMP. We got here. Ooh, nice bullets. We got some 5.56 ammo for the... M16 that we got here. Kind of awesome. We got some more M16 bullets, but they don't fit. Well, I'm gonna get rid of the rag. I'm gonna take those 5.56 five, bullets. You know what? I thought that we came here for no reason, but actually we got some sick loot. There's also a wolfo outside. The stupid wolfo. Don't you even dare to come at me. Again, if we kill it, I'm not gonna skin it. I'm not gonna get any food from it. I don't need- I can hear the wolfo barking. I can hear the wolf of barking. Go and come at me. Just try it. Just try it, bro. All right, we got some more 5.56 five, ammo. Oh, it's armor piercing and tracer bullets. I already got rid of this a bit broken screwdriver. I am kind of scary because for some reason I can't take the gun here. All right, let's get it. Let's put it back into the first slot. Let's take this into my hands. All right, so so far I don't see anything else here. There's only a couple of extra military crates left. A grenade. I can hear stupid wolf. Oh, stop growling there. Oh, we got a rail. Is that MP5 rail? We got like three, four MP5 rails. Not taking that one. I apologize. Let's drink some juice that I found here. Let's pop another soft drink. And we're gonna just throw that grenade over there. You might be like, psych, you're stupid again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am stupid. Let's get that grenade. First of all, let's get rid of the orange juice. Let's take the grenade. And let's just throw it because why not? Why not? Bam, exploded. Would the wolf will come here right now? Will the wolf will come? We got another gun here. More AKM bullets. I need them. Let's combine them. Bam, that's much better. Here I go. We can put the M16 in my on my back just so I'd be able to protect myself from the wolfos. Where are they? There had to be some wolfos. Hello? Hello? Oh, wow. I see some zombies there in front of me. Let's get them. Just gotta be careful to not trigger any beeping zombies. Because there might be some beeping zombies. I made a mistake here. I made a mistake here. I already dealt with this guy. Why are they still alive? Still alive. Let's see how many bullets I got. 12 bullets. We still have lots of bullets. Well, I think it's time for us to get back to the car. Alrighty, so now I can encounter some zombies. I'm pretty sure some of them have respawned. And as I said, I'm not scared of simple zombies. I am scared of beeping zombies. Because they'll explode me. And I don't like them. How are you still alive? You know what? I might get the suppressor now just to save some space. I saw a zombie running in front of me. So I'm trying to be very vigilant. They just spawned behind me as soon as I went there. Some of the zombies have spawned. There are the exploding guys. Just gotta be super careful. All right, so for some reason they didn't spawn in the beginning, but now they've spawned. Maybe while I have the time, we can rest up here. Here you go, let's rest up somehow, some way. And let's keep going north little by little, little by little. I'm quite certain all of the zombies have respawned here. I gotta close this garbage. 
before the other zombies come in. Well, I don't see any laughing zombies. Oh, but there's another zombie here. I'll just deal with him like this. Easy peasy. Say, so in my book, this was a successful run. And you know what else is successful? You, because you've smashed subscribe button on the video and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, hey, let's just check it out my Ark Survival Evolved Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my Days Gone Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.